Think about this. Every video you put out is a reflection of you, your style, your message. That's why learning motion graphics in Premiere is key. It will help you bring ID straight from your brain into the timeline, which is a creative superpower you will have by the end of this tutorial. All right, before we start, you can download this exact project template in the description down below. Now, once you're in Premiere, go to the toolbar and click and hold the rectangle tool. This will open up a menu with different tools and first we're gonna use the ellipse tool. Head over to the program monitor and click and drag to create an ellipse. If you hold on shift, you will get a perfect circle. Now drag the circle to the middle of the screen by holding control. This will center it. Now doing this will create a graphic layer in the timeline by the way. Next we're gonna animate it. To do that, find the transform effect in the effects library and drag it on the graphic layer. Then head over to the effect controls panel. Right here we'll find the transform effect. First, set a scale keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon. Then move the player to the first frame of the clip and set the scale to zero. This will create a zoom in animation. Now we want the animation to end smoothly. So to do that, expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the last keyframe. This way it will end slowly. Next, we're gonna turn this circle into a rectangle. And to do that, set a position keyframe. Then move further in time and move the position of the circle to the left side of the screen. Of course, we're gonna make this this linear animation look much smoother by also easing the keyframes. Expand the velocity curves and pull the levers of both the keyframes to make the animation end and start smoothly. Next we'll need a rectangle, so go back to the timeline and make sure the graphic layer is selected. That way the rectangle we're about to draw will also sit in this graphic layer. Select the rectangle tool in the toolbar and go to the program monitor. Click and drag a rectangle and snap it in the middle again. Now in the effect controls panel you will see the shape we created right here on top of the transform effect we used to create the circle animations. We want this effect to work on the rectangle as well and in order to do that, drag the transform effect on top of it. That way it will also be applied to the rectangle. Next we're gonna make the shapes rotate and to do that, find the rotation property on the transform effect. We want the rotation to be in sync with the position animation so make sure the play at this at the same spot as the first keyframe. Now set a rotation keyframe, move the player to the second position keyframe and now set the rotation to minus 360. That way it makes one full rotation to the left. Again, ease both the keyframes to make the animation super smooth. To give it some motion blur, set the shutter angle to 180 degrees. Looks beautiful already. Now let's turn the circle into a rectangle. Now that's actually super easy. Let me fold the transform effect for a moment. So here we have the circle and the rectangle. Let's expand the rectangle first. Go to the moment where you want the rectangle to be fully visible. That's in the middle of the animation, by the way. Right here, set an opacity keyframe. Now move back in time and set the opacity to zero. Of course, ease the keyframes just like you learned before. Now go to the opacity property of the circle and again, set a keyframe in the middle of the animation. Move forward in time and set the opacity to zero. Don't forget to ease these keyframes as well. This creates a beautiful transition into a rectangle. But you know what else is beautiful? Downloading animated templates straight from the plugin into the timeline of Premiere. This is the Storyblocks plugin, by the way. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Besides downloading templates, you can download any stock asset you need. It will literally appear in the project panel and boom, it's that simple. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for one predictable subscription cost. You can say goodbye to expensive paperclip prices. Enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Storyblocks will keep you protected from copyright strikes so that you can focus on the stuff that really matters creating. Now, besides that, you can save hours with pre-made motion graphics templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to starblocks.com slash Premiere Basics, or just click the link down below. And now, let's continue with our text animation. Next, we're gonna use this block to reveal a text. Let's first create a text layer. Make sure the graphic layer is not selected. Then find the text tool in the toolbar, head over to the program monitor, and click 
click to type in the text you like. I'm gonna go for basics. When you're done, hit escape and now you'll see these transform controls. Simply use them to rescale and position your text. If needed, you can always customize the text font or colors in the properties panel. Now let's make the text layer appear. First we're gonna animate our block to the right side. To do that, make sure it's selected in the timeline and right here, copy the last position keyframe and move further in time, then paste it. Move forward in time again and adjust the position of the rectangle to the right side of the frame. Of course, ease the keyframes just like we did before. That already looks cool. Now we're gonna make the rectangle smaller throughout the animation. To do that, scroll down a little until you find the rectangle shape. Then set a shape path keyframe. Move further in time and select the shape. Then in the program monitor, click and drag on the sides to make the rectangle slim. Now unfortunately, we can't easy path keyframes, so instead bring them closer together. That way you won't notice it in the animation. There we go. Now we're gonna bring the text into the frame. To do that, select the text layer and go to the effect controls. Move the player to the moment where the rectangle doesn't touch the text yet. Now go to opacity and click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, draw a box in front of the text layer. That will make the text invisible. Then back in the effect controls, set a mask path keyframe. Select the mask by clicking it. Now all you need to do is move forward in time by frame by frame and adjust the mask so the rectangle will reveal the text behind it. There you go, it's that simple. Next, we're gonna erase the inside of the text. To do that, we need to animate the rectangle back to the left side. Select the graphic layer again and go to the effect controls. In here, find the position animation from earlier. Right here, copy the last keyframe again and paste it. Then move a little forward and adjust the position property. All the way to the left side, outside of the frame. Then ease out the first keyframe. You can leave the last keyframe linear because it's out of frame anyway. Now to create the outline effect, hold down Alt to duplicate the text layer one track up. Make sure it's selected and go to the properties panel. In here, select your text layer. Scroll down a little and make sure the fill is disabled and enable the stroke. Set the stroke type to inner so we can't see it. Make sure the stroke is set to one and the color is the same as the fill. All right, now go back to the timeline and click the original text layer. Go back to the effect controls and find the mask path animation from earlier. Move the player to the moment the rectangle starts moving towards the left again. In here, set a mask path keyframe. Then make sure the mask is selected and animate the mask together with the rectangle animation. This way the fill will disappear and the stroke will maintain. There you go. Lastly, to make the text fall once the rectangle leaves, select the top text layer and right click it. Then choose nest. This will put the text layer into another sequence. This is needed for the falling animation. Otherwise the mask from earlier will ruin it. Find the transform effect and drag it on the nested sequence. Then in the effect controls panel, set a position and rotation keyframe. Move further in time and rotate the text slightly. Then adjust the position property until the text is gone. Make sure to ease out the first keyframes like this and of course set the shutter angle to 180 degrees for motion blur. Ah, look at this beautiful animation. Again, you can download the project file in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.